So we're starting off by sweating up all these ingredients in there, which is the onions, the celery, the bacon, the garlic. That's my chopped garlic from the freezer. That's my bacon from the freezer. And also into this, let's put that pork shoulder that I bought over a month ago, boned it out, made stock, made it four packages, one pound each of the meat. So I'm using water. Why? I mean, I could use chicken stock, but this is going to give more flavor. This meat and the cabbage. You have to like cabbage to enjoy this recipe. The cabbage has its own nice flavor, which goes with a lot of things. And we don't have to brown this. All you do is just sweat it up. And this meat, I already know, after playing with it, takes about an hour and ten minutes when it's cooked in this method. That's right, I'm not down here. That's how I cook. That's how everybody else cooks. Banging on all the pots. And we gotta put some pepper. That's up to you how much pepper you put in there. And then the salt. Start off with about a teaspoon. And then later we'll add salt. That smells good already. And now the cabbage. Everything is pre weighed, pre measured. So you don't have to guess how much of anything except maybe the salt and pepper, but that's for your own taste. And that's why you have salt and pepper on the table for dinner, in case anybody wants to put more. One pot, easy. I think the most difficult part of this is getting the meat, cutting up the uh, vegetables, have all the ingredients. We'll have some chopped parsley in there later. The potatoes are going to go in. A half hour after this is cooking, I'd like to keep them from breaking apart. So if it takes an hour and ten minutes, or maybe forty minutes, and then I'll add the potatoes. Good idea. I thought so. I'm going to put some herb in there, but I can do that in a few minutes. It'll be on the description. You could add it now or in five minutes. And we're going to just cover this with stock or water. Chicken stock, pork stock, vegetable stock, or water. I'm sure it'll come out a little stronger if you use the pork stock, which I have, or chicken stock. We're not measuring the water, this is just going to cover. That's it. Why? Because the onions are going to give out liquid, the cabbage is going to give out liquid. Because after this comes to a nice boil, we're going to put the lid on it. 
so you know it's not going to reduce that much because this this pan here I think it's a three quart pan the lid fits nice and snug and once it comes to a boil on this burner the large burner I put it on the lowest setting and it cooks that tells you that the lid fits snugly okay so we're all set how simple was that bring this to a boil as soon as it boils drop it down to just about right there and we'll set the timer after it boils for 40 minutes I'll make it 45 because this will take a few minutes to boil and I'm all set now I can go away and do something else and we're going to see when you cover it with a nice tight lid you see very little reduction and we're going to add the potatoes so that was 40 minutes now with the potatoes in there oh is that going to be a nice heavy good meal I'll give this another half hour. So it's been that half hour, and I was correct. Potatoes are done. Adding the scallions and the parsley. And let's taste this. This is when you have to judge for yourself how much you need. The flavor is nice, but what enhances the flavor is what's going in my hand. Salt. Pepper, you can do whatever you want. And what we have I call this three portions. Looks like a lot but it's cabbage and potatoes are in there and then you have a, a pound of meat which comes out to be 5.3 ounces per person which is just right look I'm double dipping don't yell at me because I'm eating this That pork, that shoulder of pork, whether it's made in a stew or however, it's, it's so tasty. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this.